2,000 years late. Six and a half hours later. A few inches later. What's your name? What's your name? My name is Brennan. What are you most excited for? I'm most excited to... All right, take four, take four. <laughs> What oh you... wait, you didn't give me any time to think. <laughs> would you rather be a sheep or a shepherd and why? I think I'd be a shepherd because I want to watch after my flock. <laughs> okay, if you guys could be any barn animal, what would you be? I'd be uh, a goat because I am a goat. I'd be a horse because I want to lead my fellow Christians. A goat. <laughs> goat. <laughs> Little barn cats count. Yeah, I will be that one. I picked that as well. I would be a horse because they're pretty. The question of the day is: Would you rather have an extra eye on your forehead or four ears? Answer? Or no. should I just? Is it starting? Yeah, we're on time. Oh, we're recording. Hey guys. Okay. Um, I would rather have four ears because I'm Loki nosy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Also, I'm a band kid. Hashtag love us band kids. Mwah. Um, I'm low-key a little deaf too, guys. I'm so sorry. Hashtag Jesus loves you. Hashtag stay humble. I think an extra ear, cause then I can have both my my headphones, both my ear my AirPods in, and then I can still hear. Four million years ago, wow! the central plains of North America were underwater. Here, near the edge of the sea, it's a subtropical swamp.
the throne room of heaven, you can keep your eyes closed, keep picturing this, the throne room of heaven where God resides. And he's sitting on this throne and he looks like these jasper and this ruby and there's this rainbow that encircles this throne that's shaped like a diamond. And above the throne, there's this storm. It's lightning and rumbling and thunder. And around the throne are 24 elders seated around him and they all have crowns on their head. And there's four beasts in front of the throne. And what I think is so cool is the floor is this endless sea of glass. It's this bottomless floor, this crystal. It's this heavenly sea. And it describes this beautiful scene into Revelation 5. Then I saw the right hand of him who sat on the throne, a scroll with writing on both sides and sealed with seven seals. And I saw a mighty angel proclaiming in a loud voice, who is worthy to break the seals and open the scroll? But no one in heaven or on earth or under the earth could open the scroll or even look inside of it. And John, the apostle who's writing this, he says, I wept and I wept because no one who was worthy to open the scroll or look inside was found. And one of the elders said to John, do not weep. See, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, has triumphed. He is able to open the scroll and its seven seals. Then I saw a lamb looking as if it had been slain, standing at the center of the throne, encircled by the four living creatures and the elders. The lamb had seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God sent out into all the earth. He went and took the scroll from the right hand of him who sat on the throne. And when the lamb, Jesus, the lamb of God, when he had taken it, the four living creatures and the 24 elders fell down before the lamb. Each one had a harp, and they were holding bowls of the prayers of God's people. And the elders sang a new song, saying, You are worthy to take the scroll. Jesus, you, the Lamb of God, are worthy to take the scroll and open its seals. Why? Because you were slain. And with your blood you purchased for God persons from every tribe and language and people and nation. You have made them. He has made us to be a kingdom and priest to serve our God and they will reign on the earth. And then John looked and he heard the voice of many angels, thousands upon thousands, ten thousands upon ten thousands. The scene opens wide up and there's thousands of ten thousands of angels surrounding the throne. And in a loud voice they were saying, worthy is the lamb who was slain to receive power and wealth and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and praise. No matter how long, how broken you are, don't you forget that love is always coming your way. change your mind wherever you go wherever you stay don't you forget that love is always coming your way no matter how far how broken you are don't you forget that love is always coming your way always hey, hey. and you ain't gotta do a thing to get that love you ain't gotta act nice to get that hug it don't matter if you stuck inside that mud the sun's still gonna be shining down on us if you ever felt left out burden the weak Set the lie straight from the enemy Coming for your mind, body, soul, and energy But do not be deceived Cause you are loved, you are chosen Your body is broken for every door The close is a
killing! <laughs>